I am Dr. Hiranappa B. Udnur, specialist in pulmonology and sleep medicine and critical care and I practice at Inspire Speciality Clinic, Sakar Nagar, Bangalore. We get a patients with x-ray with abnormality showing the scar in the lung and we are referred for it. Okay. Is it a cancer? That's the doubt the patient's family members and the patient himself will be having. How do you go about it? Okay. So first, we, once the patient comes to us, first we see the x-ray and see the scar and measure the size and the characteristics. Does it really look like cancerous? There are certain radiological characteristics for it, which it really looks like cancer. How is the lung? How is the scar? Is it away from the lungs? Is it in the above? Is it below? Is it looks calcification? Sometimes is there a necessity to do further investigations and you have to keep down their anxiety level down. Most of the time it will be benign. It will not be a, it should be non-cancerous. We don't have to do anything. So sometimes we just take a history, the smoking history will be taken care. So we will ask how much cigarettes they smoke and the age, whether they are less than 40 or more than 40. If they have a significant past history of smoking, more than 40 and if they have a family history of lung cancer and we need to evaluate. If the x-ray looks this thing, we, the next step of investigation is a CT scan of the chest. Okay, When we do the CT scan, we can do more than x-ray. It's more of three-dimensional. So if it is really like a calcification is there, most of the time we ask the history, we go into the depth of history. If you ask a previous x-ray and if it's more than two years old x-ray, we ask. If the two year old x-ray and the size is same and we look at a doubling time of a scar lesion if the scar is of the same size we don't do anything okay it's probably benign sometimes previous history of tuberculosis you can see a granuloma and we don't do anything sometimes we see a popcorn can ca ca calcification we don't do anything for it so if it looks abnormal in terms of it is irregular borders are there and eccentric calcification is there and these kind of characteristics are there, then we need to evaluate it, okay? So in a CT scan, when you get that kind of picture, and if the size is less than three, whether it's the probability of lung cancer is there, okay? So then there are other investigative modalities, like a PET scan, and if it's a well localized, and it's very, very small, and there is no evidence of spread in other organs, like in the chest and mediastinal nodes are there, or it's not spread certain other bones it has spread, he has a back pain, whether it's liver, liver, we need to do a PET CT and if it is early stage and it can be resectable and curable disease is there, then we give options of doing a biopsy. If it's close to the chest wall, we ask the interventional radiologist or we ourselves sometimes can go, we can do a CT guided biopsy or a FNAC, confirm the diagnosis. And if it's close to the airway, we need a bronchoscopy, bronchoscopy and sometimes we will be able to get a diagnosis by a routine bronchoscopy. We need an additional bronchoscopic tool like EBUS and other things might be required sometimes if you have a difficulty in a diagnosis. Once the confirmation of diagnosis is done, then it is a staging. Okay? Then we stage it and whether it's resectable, we send to a thoracic surgeon and take out and then the options of radiotherapy, chemotherapy and surgeries are there. Surgery is usually used for very, very early cancer where it is not involved anything. The second options will be chemotherapy. Chemotherapy provided their performance status is very good. Means they look at a score if they are out of the bed, moving around more than 50% they are out of the bed. Then we look at and into those things. Okay. So then they are the candidates for chemotherapy. And if it's not amenable for this thing, there is other options for radiotherapy. We send it to radiotherapy where they take it in sessions. Okay, so then we look at this thing. Sometimes if the disease is very advanced, means we don't do anything. We give a proper palliative and end of life care issues. Those things will be discussed. So it all depends on the age, characteristics, and how, how the extent of the disease. And based on that, we take a call on that. Sometimes a scar can be very, very, very benign. Sometimes it can be really serious problem. 